Good morning students. So today I have brought this video for standard ninth. Okay. First of all, I'll tell you that uh, before starting your syllabus of standard nine, especially in chemistry, but you, just like I have told you in eight, in the same way, you need to just learn the atomic mass, atomic number, the symbol of the elements till thirty minimum till thirty. You need to learn. Even you have an understand about the valency also in standard nine uh, eight. So the same thing you need to revise it. After that, you will just start this class. Okay. so that it will be very helpful in further chapters not right now because the first chapter of chemistry of standard 9th is the matter in our surroundings okay so we will start this chapter and before starting this chapter already you know about the matter because you have studied in standard uh, earlier standards so i want to ask from your side tell me what is matter yes you are correct matter which have means two points always remember okay matter which occupies space and having mass okay always remember what is matter which occupies space and having mass air is matter or not yes it is matter because it is everywhere means it is occupying space and it have mass also you have already learned in standard 3 and 4 that if you will um uh, take two balloons okay and one balloon you are just uh, filling with air and another uh, leave it like that the balance will just hold towards the where uh, towards where you have just filled the air okay now now we are just going to understand about the physical nature of matter you know in history many of the scientists okay has came forward to give the physical nature of the matter but we need to be proud of our country also because one of our uh, scientist or you can say that uh, indian sage okay maharshi kannad he was the great indian sage and uh, he was perhaps the first in suggest that all forms of matter are composed of very small or tiny particles each such particle was given the name anu that time okay a and u in english and in hindi anu okay and uh, after that what happened he further believed that each anu may be further made of two or more still small particles and that small particles was called parmanu matlab हिस्ट्री में भी वो लोग जो है इतना समझ चुके थे बातों को कि जितने भी मैटर्स हैं वो एक छोटे छोटे पार्टिकल से बना हुआ है और वो छोटा पार्टिकल भी फर्दर डिवाइडेड है छोटे पार्टिकल्स में उस पार्टिकल को महर्षि कन्नड़ ने क्या बताया अणु और वो अणु फर्दर किस चीज में डिवाइडेड था परमाणु में ठीक है दैट वॉज परमाणु फिर महर्षि कन्नड़ अ ग्रीक फिलोसोफर दैट नेम वॉज डेमोक्रिटस ओके डेमोक्रिटस हैव जस्ट सजेस्टेड द नेम दैट दिस टाइनी पार्टिकल्स आर कॉल्ड एटम्स व्हाट वॉज द एटम्स मीन दैट टाइम एटम्स मीन uncut which cannot be further divided into small particles but actually now in further discovery and uh, discoveries this statement was got wrong atoms can be further divided into sub atomic particles that is electron neutron and proton so students you need to learn around four points to understand the basic concepts of the diffusion okay Diff uh, the first point is the diffusion in gases is very fast because the particles in gases is traveling in high speed in comparison to the particles of the liquid and the solids okay however different gases diffuse at different rates like uh, you can say lighter gases diffuses faster and the uh, heavier gases diffuses much uh, means uh, in comparatively smaller or you can say less in uh, speed with a less speed second point what it is suggesting diffusion of liquids okay diffusion of liquids in liquid and diffusion of solid in liquids are relatively much slower the same thing as i have told you in the first point ki gases mein jo hai fast diffusion hoga solid or liquid mein jo hai slow diffusion hoga that is your second point third point what it is suggesting diffusion of solid substances into another solid ओके सॉलिड का सॉलिड से डिफ्यूजन समझ सकते हो कितना स्लो होना है इट इज वेरी स्लो इवन एक्सट्रीमली वी कैन से इट इज एक्सट्रीमली स्लो दैट्स व्हाई इट इज ऑलमोस्ट नेग्लिजिबल ओके दैट्स व्हाई इट इज ऑलमोस्ट नेग्लिजिबल हम लोग उसको लेते ही नहीं है 
क्लियर है नेक्स्ट द लास्ट पॉइंट ऑफ द डिफ्यूजन द डिफ्यूजन गेट्स फास्टर वेन टेम्परेचर इज रेस्ड ठीक है एकदम सिंपल सा इसका एग्जाम्पल समझिए है ना ड्यूरिंग द समर टाइम यू विल फाइंड मीन्स ड्यूरिंग दिस डेज ओके वॉट यू विल फाइंड दैट वेन एवर देयर विल बी लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ फीड इन द ग्राउंड तो ग्राउंड का जो एयर है वो क्या होगा सनरेज के कारण हिट हो जाएगा वो भी गैसेस है गैसेस जैसे हीट होते हैं क्या होता है ऊपर की तरफ जा रहा है हीट हो रहा है मीन्स टेम्परेचर हाई हो रहा है तो जैसे टेम्परेचर इंक्रीज होगा डिफ्यूजन फास्टर होते चले जाएगा एक और बेसिक सा एग्जाम्पल याद रखो आप जो है शुगर को वाटर में मिक्स करो बेसिकली ऐसे स्टीयर करके स्पून से मिक्स करोगे तो बहुत इजिली मिक्स हो जाएगा लेकिन जैसे आप मिक्स कर रहे हो मिक्स कर रहे हो मिक्स करो एक ऐसा लास्ट कांस्टेंट पॉइंट आएगा उस पॉइंट के बाद जो है वो मिक्स होना बंद हो जाता है पार्टिकल्स जो है पूरी तरह से फिल हो जाते हैं वाटर के ठीक है शुगर मॉलिक्यूल से तो फाइनली क्या करो आप ना उसे उसका टेम्परेचर हाई कर दो ओके पुट इट ओवर द स्टॉक गैस स्टॉक अब उसके बाद शुगर डालो देखो फिर से डिफ्यूजन होना स्टार्ट हो जाएगा मीन्स वॉट इट सजेस्ट दैट डिफ्यूजन गेट फास्टर वेन टेम्परेचर इज रेस्ट so for today you need to only understand the introduction part what is matter what is diffusion okay and what happen in the history how they has give uh, how they had given about the uh, atoms what they were thinking about the matter of the substances and all in next part we are going to understand about the states of matter all three states of matter okay along with its properties till that thank you and go for the revision learn the things whatever i have told you at the beginning okay namaskar